Hey everybody, Jimmy from The Game Grader, gonna do a little holiday gadget review for you. The digital photo frame, very popular over the past couple of years. It's gonna be popular again here this holiday season. And here's the Pan Digital. This is an eight incher, uh, and this is a full touch screen digital photo frame. You can find it on their website for around $104 uh, by visiting pandigital.net. All right, so let's go over this thing. Uh, here's what you get in the box. Obviously, you get the frame itself. Uh, you get the power cord right there. Uh, you get the included remote, which is uh, magnetic. It, I'll show you how that works here in a second. Here's the uh, user guide in the form of, we haven't seen this since GameCube, the tiny little disc. And then here's uh, two colored mats to go along with it on front. See, there's that uh, kind of off color, off white eggshell looking one right now. This is white, you can throw that on there. And then of course they have, this is kind of a, well, one side's a brown, the other side is a black. So there you go right there, you could do that. Kind of left the eggshell color one on there uh, because I like the way it looked. Anyway, now let's take a look at the back here. There's also this included plastic piece right here which will help uh, fortify the stand. Uh, so you can attach this to the stand, it helps give a little more, uh, especially for the higher uh, tables. Anyway, take a look at, uh, at this thing. Uh, it has a gig of internal memory, so you could go, uh, there's multiple ways you can import and multiple sources you can use. This is a uh, USB, mini USB right there. Uh, and then here's your uh, large USB, you can use a, a flash drive or anything like that. Here's your compact flash slot right there. And then I like to use, this is an 8 gig, non-included, none of these are included obviously. This is an 8 gig SD card that goes in right there. Uh, up top, although it is touchscreen, there are physical buttons, menu, exit, uh, you can move up and down or left and right within uh, menus, and then there's enter there in the middle. And on this side, this is the power switch, the brightness dial right here, and then there's where the power goes in. All right, so we'll turn this baby on right here. Again, this is an eight inch uh, with the included remote, which will connect right here magnetically, so you do not lose it. There it is, magnetic connection. So we turn it on. Uh, this is 800 by 600 resolution. Obviously this is a 4 by 3, not widescreen. Just your standard box. Uh, and it says that with the gig of internal memory you can get up to 6400 pictures on it uh, by importing. I just use the card. That way it's easier to, uh, to manage the photos without having to drag this thing around. There's an unfortunate picture of me. I'll go back to the menu here and you'll see the different sources that you have. This is how you uh, import. You can import uh, to the internal memory off of the card so you don't have to worry about them. But there's your SD, your compact flash, USB, things like that. Uh, other than that, it's like any other frame you've seen before. This one is Wi-Fi capable. You need to get a non-included adapter uh, from Pan Digital. Obviously didn't get one, so I didn't have a chance to try it out. Uh, there's optimal image display. You can uh, make images blow up and fill the screen a little bit bigger if they're smaller. Obviously your normal slideshow uh, options here. You can add music to it. MP3 files will play. Uh, you can add transitions uh, in, between the, uh, in between the pictures. You can change the picture length. You can shuffle the images. Uh, this also have included time in print up on, on the top left hand corner. A lot of stuff we've seen before. Not a lot different about this. I just think that it works better. The controls are a little bit better. Uh, it's a little bit easier to use, I think, than some of the other ones, especially with the added uh, remote, which has a little bit of a delay on it. Uh, you got to step back from it a little bit. I'm off camera right now using it, uh, and there's a little bit of a delay, maybe half a second. Uh, but you know, you're sitting back on the couch and you want to turn it on. That's kind of what the remote's for. But if you want to get down to the nitty gritty, you kind of got to come up to it. It's got the included clock, which will show up in the left-hand corner, uh, but you can also put it in a kind of a calendar mode. Really wish I can get that unfortunate picture of me off of there. Uh, but uh, I guess I have the, uh, I keep on plugging it, and the time keeps on resetting. Uh, it's 2049 apparently here, uh, but there's kind of like a cool calendar. Uh, this is for your desk, things like that. That's kind of a cool mode, um, I think, for uh, for something we've never seen before from, from the frame. Uh, also, you can put recipes on it. Uh, I can't cook unless it involves a microwave, so don't really need that. Uh, the Wi-Fi, you need to get the USB Wi-Fi adapter, and, uh, and then that'll connect to your wireless network. Obviously, didn't have a chance to do that. All right, obviously, it, it 
will play your photos and uh, it'll play your music but uh, one of the issues that we had was with video and it took a lot of work to get this to actually work and uh, it will pay AVI's uh, AVI files obviously that's just uh, if you're familiar with video AVI is not really a video format it's kind of just like the wrapper that the video is in just a kind of explain it basically there's a lot of internal stuff that you need to do to get the AVI file to play this top one is an AVI file without any compression and if you notice we'll hit it we'll just scroll up to it we'll hit play and it'll be an unsupported video format well you need a some sort of degree this is the other file I was going to get to you need some sort of uh, physics degree to figure this out you need to change the compression uh, to Apple motion a and uh, if you don't have uh, the ability to do that, then uh, I don't know what to tell you. I mean, I, I, I use a program called uh, MPEG Stream Clip, and that will uh, uh, convert it, convert the compression. But if you notice, it plays it really, really slowly, and that's in slow motion. That's not intended. Uh, this is the only way we could ever get a video to play. Uh, with that compression, you had to do it using uh, MPEG Stream Clip, which is a free application you can download. But other than that, we couldn't get it to play. We couldn't get any sound. Um, and it took a lot of digging around in the forums to try to figure out how to make it work. So uh, if you're getting this and you don't have a lot of patience or the person you're getting it for isn't really technically savvy and you want it to play video, then I, I don't know if this is the place to go for you because of all the compression and the video uh, conversion that you'll need to do to get it to even play and then after a lot of work this is the best we can get it was in slow motion it, there's no audio uh, so those are some issues there and we'll back this thing back out uh, other than that I mean it's a great frame it looks really good uh, the photos look very very good uh, the internal gigabyte of hard drive uh, space is, is great um, it will play music as well and the photos look pretty good. This is a 4x3. It's not uh, widescreen, so um, you can play a little bit with the images to get them to zoom and things like that. But uh, other than that, uh, the, the touch screen is, is good, nice and responsive. Um, you, know, you can import the videos on the fly. It is truly plug and play, but uh, one of the issues, another issue we have with it being a touch screen is that this is a glass surface around here on the outside. And just like anything else that you touch that's glass, uh, it is bound to get fingerprinty. I don't know if you can see that or not, but there are fingerprints on there. With all that being said, it's $103.99. We'll call it $104 on their website. A little bit pricey for uh, video stuff like this uh, if you're getting it for a video. And, uh, you know, it's a good looking uh, photo frame, but really for $103, the other photo frames are coming down in price. Uh, this is a little bit pricey. Um, you add up all those things and we're going to give it a, a B minus. I, I think this is a pretty good photo frame. It's a little pricey and the videos, it, again, you need a kind of a, a master's degree in video conversion to figure out how to get it to work. But there's a lot of good stuff here. Uh, the, the frame looks good, 800 by 600 resolution once again. Um, and it's, it's in a good looking uh, frame. That's going to do it for another video review. Thanks for watching. This is our review of the Pan Digital 8-inch photo frame, touchscreen photo frame, right here on the Game Grader.